Hi class, welcome to week two. This is topic two, DQ1. So in this DQ, we're gonna be talking about percent change. So if you watch my video in the announcements for this week, we're talking about percent increase, percent decrease. Um, we are doing the same thing here. This time we're calculating the percentage. So um, in my video, I went through, up. In my video, I went through problems of me calculating the amount after the percent increase, after the percent decrease. This time we're gonna actually calculate that percentage of the increase or decrease. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow our percent change formula. Um, I have this posted in my extra help and instructions. I'm gonna go ahead and break it down here. I'm gonna put it on my sheet as well. So we have the amount of change. This is our first piece of the formula. This is going to be the new amount minus the original amount. The order is going to be very important here. So you gotta make sure you're taking that new amount minus the original amount. It is okay for your values to be negative here. So if you get a negative value, that's gonna be fine. Just make sure you're taking the new minus the old. All right, and then our big percent change formula is going to be that amount of change. I'm gonna put it in parentheses because if you decide to do this formula all at once, we're gonna break it apart into pieces in the sheet, but if you do it all at once, like we did on topic one, DQ one, and on the major assignments, you need to make sure you're putting parentheses around that numerator. So we're gonna take that amount of change we get and we're gonna divide it by the original amount. So I'm gonna work through an example here using our formulas, showing you how I want it formatted. Please note that my numbers here are different. So your answers are gonna be different than mine, but we're gonna be following the same process as we work through the sheet. Okay, so first we're gonna calculate the amount of change. This is going to be the numerator of our percent change formula. So to calculate that amount of change, we're gonna take the new amount minus the original amount. So I'm gonna start with that equal sign, click on my new amount or type out that B2, type my minus, click on that original amount or type out that A2 and then hit enter. So notice this one is negative. You will get a negative value if you are decreasing from the original amount to the new amount. So since we're going from 5.2 to four, we're decreasing, we get a negative amount. So that means we're working with a decrease. Okay, so let's do the next one. We're gonna follow the same process. Start with our equal sign. Take the new amount minus the original amount. And there we go. Here we got a positive number. That's because we're increasing. We're going from 7.4 to 9.56. So we're increasing, we get a positive number. Okay, so this is the amount of change. This is the difference in the values. This is our first formula. So now let's calculate the percent change. So when we calculate the percent change, when we do this, we're gonna get it into decimal form, then we'll take the decimal form and convert it to the percent form. So anytime we have a percentage, we can write it as a decimal or as a percent, and you're just gonna to wanna to follow the directions. Um, typically in Excel, we're going to format our, our percents as percentages, um, but please do know that you can convert from that decimal and percent form. We do this a lot with our formulas, like when I give you a 4.5% as your rate, you convert it to the 0.045. Okay, so we're going to do the decimal form first, and then we'll convert it to the percent form next. Okay, so now we've used the amount change formula. Now we're on to the percent change formula. We're going to take that value we just calculated, the amount of change, divided by the original amount. We always divide by the original amount when we're calculating percent changes. So I'll do my equal sign, the amount of change, which I calculated that negative 1.2 and C2 divided by the original amount. So here I didn't put parentheses because I did the subtraction in a separate cell. When you do this on your major assignment, you will do this all in one step. So you put that numerator in parentheses so if you want to practice here, you can go ahead and put it in parentheses. Uh, parentheses or no parentheses here, you will still get to the same answer. Okay, let's do the same thing for the next one. Percent change, I take the amount of change divided by the original amount. So I'm taking that 2.16 divided by 7.4. All right, so when you do these, you'll get a decimal. 
the signs are staying the same. So our first one's decreasing, we still have negative signs. Our second one's increasing, we still have positive signs. This is going to be the percent change in decimal form. So this is the decimal form of the percent. The next column E, this is where I want to do the percent change in percent form. So what I'm going to do here is instead of having to retype my formula I did, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this value, transfer it over into this column, and then we'll adjust the formatting. So when you want to transfer a value over, you type your equal sign, click on the value you want to transfer. This is a cell reference. So I'm cell referencing that percent change in D2. So I'm going to do equals D2. And then I'll do the same thing for the next one. I'll do equals D3. Okay, so then notice these are automatically in percent form. That may or may not happen on your sheet. So just be careful with that. We want these to be in percent form. So here we have the amount of change. This is building our subtraction for our numerator. We have the percent change in decimal form. So this is the decimal form of the percent and then the percent change in percent form. So these two are the same number in different forms. These two are the same number in different forms. So now let's go ahead and format this according to those extra help and instructions. I want your amount of change as a number with two decimal places. So I'm going to format this as a number with two decimal places. So I chose number, already says two, so I'll hit OK. Percent change, I want this one to be formatted as a number with four decimal places. So I'll right click, go under Format Cells, choose number, choose four decimal places. And then the last one, we want to make this one a percent with two decimal places, a percentage with two decimal places. So I already have the percent symbol here. If you don't have that, you'll need to make sure you put percent when you format the cells. So when I go under format cells, make sure that percentage is selected. So if you're under general, if you're under number, make sure you go down and select percent, change the number of decimals to two. So see, we have the negative 0 0.2308, negative 23.08%. Those are the same value. 0 0.2919, 29.19%. Those are the same value, just in different forms. Okay, so this is our percent change formula. We use this as the inflation rate for topic one DQ1. We will see this in our major assignments. Um, when you are doing this, just make sure that you follow the formula remember your parentheses when you're doing it all at once. So when I talk about when you're doing it all at once, what you'll do is you'll do your percent change formula as the new amount minus the original amount and then divide by the original amount. That is the formula you follow if you do it all in one step. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I look forward to seeing your submissions in the forum.